After a recent house fire, a Macomb County family is extremely grateful for a visit from their fire department a year before. Yes, Nick Monticelli reveals how a simple act ended up saving the lives of everyone in that house. From the outside, you'd have no idea what happened on the inside of this Sterling Heights home. Pictures from the fire marshal make it much clearer. A fire that could have killed the family that lives here. 13 year old Layla Wagenback was home cooking. I heard the fire alarm go off and I thought it was the one downstairs because that thing goes off all the time. When she cooks? Yeah, I'm not the best. Player. It wasn't smoke from the oven though, it was coming from her father's bedroom. There was like smoke everywhere throughout the whole hallway and then when I opened his door, all I seen was smoke and things. Layla opened the door and their two dogs were able to run out. It was like this big whoosh of flames. That's when Layla ran too and called 911. We dispatch from Battalion 3, I'm on the scene. Her dad is a smoker. Ashes right, yeah. in a garbage can caused all of this. With everyone safe, that's when reality and irony set in. Almost one year ago to the day, Sterling Heights Fire was at this same home for a carbon monoxide issue. That's when they noticed the family didn't have any working smoke alarms and installed three completely free. They came in and replaced all my fire alarms for, for free. I mean, they came up and did it and thank God. Layla's dad, Chuck, cannot stop praising these firefighters and paramedics from Sterling Heights Station 4. They installed the smoke alarms that saved lives. If she would have heard that fire alarm, my dogs definitely would have made it. Who knows about it, she would have made it. And like I said, my house would definitely been a total loss. Not having a working smoke alarm is much more common than you'd think. It's estimated about 5 million homes in the U.S. do not have one. And in Sterling Heights, the fire marshal says most fire deaths are directly linked. Most fatals that we investigate and most fires that we investigate don't have working smoke alarms. That's why Sterling Heights has this program. Last year they installed 300 smoke alarms because once a fire starts, you have a less than three minutes to exit a house for a working, for, for a working fire. You never think something like that's going to happen to you until it does. But now that it has, the wagon backs are spreading the word. Even 13 year old Layla is telling all her friends. Told all of them, like, my smoke detector saved my life. If it wasn't for that smoke detector, I probably wouldn't be here today. You all need to make sure you have them and make sure they all work. So here's the big takeaway from this story. While this happened in the city of Sterling Heights, the state fire marshal says that almost every single department in the state has something like this. You can call up and get a smoke detector for free. And if the department doesn't have any, they'll get you the phone number to Doug, to someone who does like the Red Cross. Bottom line, if you don't have a working smoke alarm, you can get a free one. We're live this morning, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.